Okay, here we have the, uh, this is the uh, fine mold falcon um, with the kit decals put on it. Uh, I was thinking about masking and painting it, but and, uh, when I started uh, I thought, okay, well, to speed up the process I'll just uh, use the kit decals. Um, this is kit decals um, over the base coat. And some pretty stark colors. So what I did next was uh, I took the base coat and I sort of faded the colors so that when I put the wash they don't look as they don't stick out as much. So, anyway, so and that's done with both sides. And uh, so that's the kit with the fading. And then here's the AMT Earl kit with uh, a wash. So it looks much better. Nice and dirty and everything. Uh, it is just a bit darker than I wanted. It was the, uh, I guess the amount of black. It was, uh, to me, acrylic black mixed with thinner. And it says it looks much better. Um, not as the the decals don't stick out as much. The the decals here, actually, uh, I used a fine molds. I just scanned it and printed it out on a laser printer onto uh, decal paper, and that's where the the decals came in. Uh, they don't match up because uh, this is a uh, a New Hope Falcon, and this is going. To, this is the uh, Empire Trace Path Falcon. So there are some differences. There. Uh, panels don't match up, but like I says, I just uh, put them down. They don't match up with the panels, but it's fine. Um, that's it. Just a quick update. He says, um, I'm happy with the way it looks. He says, I think with weathering and everything, it'll look uh, also even even better. So next up is with the fine molds to uh, put the lighting in the cockpit and other areas of the front. He says, I have placed the fans uh, with little motors. Little... Uh, yeah, they're high speed motors and the little fan blades were uh, printed out on my 3D printer and I have the um, screens from the uh, paragraphics detail set, photo ice detail set and so that's it